We asked you guys to send us your best NHL hockey tattoos and you guys delivered. You sent us hundreds and we narrowed it down to the best 10 for this video. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rank them from one to 10 and the winner at the end gets writing rights. Pretty straightforward. Riggs, when you first told us this idea, I thought we were ranking like actual NHL players tattoos and I was so <laughs> concerned because I was like, you realize that like only one of us here has like a plethora of tattoos. Like the rest of us are are pretty much uh, empty canvases. Um, I have one. I have two, and uh, Christian definitely has more than all of us combined. <laughs> <laughs> I think wait, I'm wait, like sixteen so, so now. The only Seventeen. Person, the, the only person in this video without a tattoo is the one hosting it, eh? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> but with that said, let's start with Christian then. We have Ryan Reeves blowing a kiss. And with that tattoo on his arm, he has the uh, St. Louis Blues winning the Stanley Cup. This is from Jay Fraganza 76 on Instagram. What do we think about this one, Christian? I think to have the double, double blues tattoos is pretty interesting. The kiss is something else. I don't know if I personally would get... Uh, a player like that tattooed on me i mean at least it's done pretty decently so it's not it's not the worst but i'll give it a 7.5 because at least they look good they're, they look pretty decent um but it's just the whole getting an athlete portrait tattoo that kind of lowered the points a bit for me but to each their own so i'm gonna go 7.5 I'm not paying as much attention to the Stanley Cup tattoo because I think it's generic and like whatever. It doesn't really deserve as much of a rating. I think the Reeves one is the real one that we should all be looking at. And the fact that he's blowing a kiss in it in that Blues jersey where he did, you know, did so much of his damage. And, and I love Ryan Reeves. He's a good Winnipeg boy. And I just think everything, I, I just think that this tattoo has a lot of character and it shows a lot about someone if they have a tattoo like this. I think I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. I think that's fair unbiased i will say i do agree with jesse i don't i think eight's a little too high but i think it's iconic reeves blowing a kiss to the stars bench so i'm gonna say a seven on this one okay so you know like that michelangelo i think it's michelangelo like the angels touching like yeah. tattoo or painting it's kind of giving me that with the hand like this so it's definitely <laughs> classy um i think it's a cool party trick to bring out um just i have a ryan reeves kissing blowing a kiss tattoo but i think we're a little generous also at the same time uh, I'm going to go 6.5. I think I'm just going to go even and give it a 7. Um, but I really do like the, the, like, the commitment to getting the kiss blow. Okay, on to number 2. 10. Oh my god. <laughs> 10. <laughs> we'll start with Jordan, but first I'm going to introduce the tattoo. Fill the thrill with a hot dog. Does one human have both these tattoos on them at the same time, or is this two different yes. people? This no, is one, one person, no. I think. Yes. There's no way. With the Phil Kessel hot dogs. I love commitment to the bit, but what? Imagine saying you have two, not just one, but two Phil Kessel hot dog tattoos on your body. I really like the nice guy tries hard, loves the game. I like the little, that little beat, bit to it. I like the squirting mustard also on the other one. It's, it's classy, 10. I want to know where on his body these are though. Like, is that his calf? Like, imagine just, I don't know, walking behind this guy the in the summer. The looks like it's his leg. Like yeah, like ankle? imagine like walking behind this guy and you just see like Phil Kessel staring back at you with hot dogs on this guy's calf. <laughs> I love it. It, it. Can we go above 10? The actual tattoo of the dude on the hot dog holding the cup, squirting the mustard is way cooler than the other one. The other one's kind of like, it's kind of an ugly tattoo. Maybe it's just not a very flattering photo. Just give it an eight and a half because the one on the right, right is too cool. Half. I don't know who's wearing a 1950s car seat on their head. But that doesn't look like Phil Kessel. I will give this one a 7.5. The helmet, you can call it an old school car seat all you want. That's my kind of bucket right there. Uh, so stop chirping, Eric. And and yeah, what, what, what is he doing? He has like a, a hot dog just on the tip of his blade in the other one. Like it, it's just not really put together as nicely. So yeah, like it looks like, more like Phil, but like it kind of looks like an ugly like gremlin Phil, you know? Kind of a bad picture like Jesse said, but I wish the head on the left was on the right, and it was just that as the one tattoo, and it would get more marks. But double fill, I'm going to get 6.5. I'll actually go back on this. If this guy changes this to a full Phil Kessel hot dog sleeve, I'll give you a 10. <laughs> well, really quickly, I'm going to give it a 9, just because I'm looking at the tattoo in a sense of this person got it, knowing it's going to be on them for the rest of their lives. 
And I just think that's incredible. Like that that's commitment. That's a true <laughs> fan. If I saw that out on the street, I would literally clap my hands. Like I'm applauding you. Yeah, but so, that's but you can use that solid, same logic. No, it's it's, it's sweet. You, can, awesome. you can use that same logic for any tattoo on this list. Every fan is committed to their team and a player if they get it tattooed onto them. Yes, but it's Phil Kessel with a hot dog. Next up, number three, we have NHL legend Bob Probert coming from Colin9393 on Instagram. I, I'm, this is like, <laughs> I, I don't know. There's nothing hockey related here. It's just Bob Probert's face. <laughs> It, like, encapsulates who Bob Probert was and, like, very much so. What, a lumberjack? No, just, like, a tough Bash Brother kind of guy yeah. like you'd see in the Mighty Ducks movies. Man, he's got no front jibs. Like, someone you do not mess with on the ice. Okay, or off but, like, the, the ice. outfit. Like, just like, a tough dude. That's, the outfit is what's throwing me. It re Okay, it looks like the No Regrets guy. You know the guy who goes like this? It's giving more <laughs> of that than Bob Probert. If you are going to tattoo your favorite player or someone on you, it's it's sick to me. Like, that's good for you. I'm giving you a seven again. All right. You know what? I'm going to follow Eric on this one and give it a seven as well. I want to know more about this guy. Like, I can see he's married. I want to know yeah, what, what event they're at that he pulled yeah. up his, sh like, shorts. Like, I need to know more. <laughs> I think you guys are over... I think you guys are overthinking this one a little. I think it's actually freaking awesome. I think you're better off showing personality of Bob Probert through something like this than just like a picture of him playing hockey with a hockey helmet. He's got the mullet, he's got the bandana, he's got a chain with his number on it. He's got no jibs. The detail's really nice on this one. I think it's freaking sweet. Eight and a half out of 10 for me. It's, 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 it says a lot more knowing that like, it's not in the hockey equipment and we knew right away with like the chain and everything. It represents both the player and the person. So I'm gonna give it an eight. Jesse inspired me. This one's a fun one, and I chose it because of the backstory. It's the New York Rangers to with a toaster. And basically, he got this tattoo because he made a bet with Rangers Twitter. If the Rangers won the draft lottery, he would have to get this tattoo. And the story behind it is he got gifted the toaster uh, during the 2013 season, and one of his coworkers damaged the toaster at work and stole it. They ended up piecing it back together. He went on Reddit and before every game, he would toast a piece of toast and people on Reddit that were Rangers fans would use the toast. So they would use it for predictions and apparently it would work. I'm giving it an eight. I like the story behind it. It's sweet. Tell it to someone. It's kind of a long story and a little confusing, but. I'm also giving it an eight just for the story. I think the, the tattoo's fine, but the story's pretty sweet. That goes with it. So I like it. I'd go eight. Like I, like I said before, like cool party trick for the Reeves one. Like this one's also cool. You can strike up conversations with it, with the story. Yeah, no, it, it's cool. I'll give it an eight. You know, I, I think they should have stuck a couple eyes on it and turned it into the brave little toaster. Yeah! Yeah, I mean, I'll give this one like a, a, a 7.5. I gotta go 7.5 too. It really is a conversation starter. And maybe the person really likes toast. So it's a double double whammy right there their love for toast and their love for the rangers so let's go i'm gonna go 7.5 on on this one number five we have rocket richard from at peter frederick on instagram okay if it's black and white and the shading's really nice i actually don't mind it just the fact that it's overlapping though something underneath kind of has my head tilting a little um yeah like, i think it's fine i would do like i don't know 7.5 I'm all about okay. detail, like I said, and I just think it looks like there's a lot of work that goes that went into it. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. I know I wasn't. I'm not high on the portraits of players, but this one's really well done. And if it is done in just like the shaded, like black and white, as it looks in the photo, then it looks really sick. It, it almost looks like it's like a like a pencil drawing kind of thing. So I'm gonna give it an eight. So like, I have a hard time just in this video because like I don't want to just like judge it based off the quality of art because this is really well done. Like to do a black and gray portrait like this isn't isn't something that's easy. Obviously, I'm not a tattoo artist. I, I don't really know how hard it is, but I'd assume it's pretty hard to shade that like that well. But like the idea is it's just a portrait, like Christian said, where like the toaster is a way cooler idea. But would I rather this tattoo on me? Yes. Just the quality of work on this, and like I do think it is just a very nice tattoo. I think I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I think the detail in this tattoo could actually be a lot better. Am I crazy for saying that? Look at one side of his pants compared to the other side. Like, I, I again, like his right shoulder looks very detailed. 
part of the jersey doesn't. But I just think that actually, like, I just don't know what you're going for. Were you going for the pencil look? Were you going for a realistic look? So for that reason, I'm going to give it like a seven. Next up, we have Steve Iserman. This is one of the favorite, one of my favorites that we picked out just because the detail is insane. Again, I've been all about detail this video. I mean, like, it looks like him. Like, that's just such a sweet tattoo to have on yourself. I'm giving, I've been giving a lot of high ratings, but I'm going to give it an 8.5. I, I like I, I like the Bob the Bob Probert one a bit more, even though it was it wasn't really hockey related. It just looked cooler, I think. Like the the color and everything just popped on it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an eight because I don't think it's better than the Richard one personally. So that's why I can't go higher. So I think it is better than the last one. You can even see with the jersey, like the like little holes in it, and it looks pretty realistic to me. So I would give it a nine. That's what I'm saying. Like, look at that 19. Yeah. That 19 looks so detailed. The 19 like is crisp. Jersey. That looks really crisp. Yeah. The shading, very well done. Honestly, if, I think if it was in color, I would give it the higher score. I actually like that it's not in color. And I think that the detail on the, on the entire piece is incredible. I think it's, personally, I think it's much better than the previous tattoo that we saw. First of all, let's... Uh, acknowledge the fact that he's rocking an unreal CCM bucket. This is a young Stevie Y that we're looking at right now, okay? He's got great flow, you know, like like one of the greatest leaders in the history of the game, just right there, like right before it all happened, really. So I think this is a tremendous tattoo. I think if I saw this one, I'd be like, holy crap. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm personally giving this one a 9 out of 10. Christian, I, I feel like that's what I think that's where we're different because like I'm a sucker for black and gray tattoos. I, I think it looks really good. I think every part of this detail looks so good to me, except the part that like really matters. I think they just defined his cheekbones a little too much and he looks like super skinny because <laughs> like I would give it a 10, but I think his cheek like he just looks super skinny to me. And that's that's my only problem. So like I'm going to give this a nine. It's a young Iserman. But not that skinny man. Like he looks like he's like sick skinny he was pretty frail at the beginning of his career you know there's like young stevie y i'm giving it a nine but it is sick it is a very sick tattoo and it looks very very nice number seven we have pavel beret from t smith 686 and we have a back tattoo a massive back tattoo i'm thinking commitment i'm looking at detail i'm looking at overall i don't think it's the whole i, I don't think it's their whole, whole back. back it's it's right below their shoulder this is like Steve-O's tattoo, eh? His back, just his tired back is himself, the whole tattoo. This is what's giving me the vibes. But it, need, it, it would need to say, say Burray, like a name bar, though. Does Pavel Burray have this tattoo? Is this Pavel Burray's back? Is that what we're saying right now? It's great. I just think it's a little aggressive to have on your entire back, so I'm giving it a six. I'd go up, honestly, to a seven solely because of the Cooper helmet. The bucket is nasty. You know what? Like the details, like good. So like, if I'm comparing it to the other ones, like I'll go eight point five, because it's like wow. honestly, I don't think it's awful. I think it's nice. Like even nice. look at the like. Okay, look at the bucket and like the, like the shading. It looks like like lights reflecting off it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like the detail in this one is actually cool. And let's not disregard the fact that it's Pavel Bure in the tattoo as well as the tattoo as well. That's very cool. But I just think that, like, this dude picked the worst possible spot to get this tattoo, at least that, from the picture. Like, well, think about it. We all get older and, like, our our bodies eventually change. Like, this one just, I don't know. It seems like it's in a spot where, like, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'll go to, like, a seven and a half strictly because I think the detail is well done. I'm not going to judge it on its size or its placement or anything because that's whatever this guy wanted, whatever he picked. Um, but just looking at the tattoo, again, black and gray. Love it. Love the shading. Like all of these different materials look like different materials, right? Like the helmet looks plastic. His hair looks soft. The jersey looks like mesh. Do I think it's as good as the Stevie Y one? No, uh, but I definitely do like it. So I think I'm going to give it an 8.5. All that, right. That old Canucks jersey too is just elite. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to judge it on the, the size and placement. It is really well done. The line work and everything, the shading is all really well done, but it's massive. It looks like it's like at least half the back. This guy's probably your favorite player. Burry's your favorite player and Canucks are your team. But it has nothing to do with how it's going to look when you're 80. It's just this is too big for me for, for a portrait especially. I'll give it a 7 only though because it is really well done. Number 8 we have Patrice Bergeron. 
yeah, I mean, this one's just not really threading the needle for me, if I'm being totally honest with you. I like Bergeron. Like, obviously, this is a very passionate Bruins fan. I can't really relate at all in that sense. Like, I would never even think of getting a tattoo of Patrice Bergeron. The details, like, <laughs> whatever. It kind of looks like it was, like, a, like it's, a like, a water painting or something. This, in my opinion, is probably the worst one we've seen, potentially. Uh, one of the worst, at least. I will give this, like, a 6 out of 10. Like, sorry, it's just not really that nice. Maybe you maybe all disagree, but it's my take. Yeah, it's not, like, tickling any fancies for me. Um, I think, like, the face and, like, the main part of the jersey is, like, all right. Uh, <laughs> six, I'd go with, maybe. Yeah, let's go with six. Mm, I'm going to give it a six, too. Doesn't it, It's just, like, a to me, a basic hockey tattoo kind of like the rest of them um yeah it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me as well the logo itself is sick like the logo on the jersey the crest is is sick the rest like if there's no numbers on there do you know that's patrice bergeron looking at the face and like the gloves it's just like those are gloves from 1930 that he's wearing like how long are those gloves <laughs> that reebok logo those is are so sick though i don't think this one is that great i'm going 5.5 before we move on to Eric, I just want to say it's not like it's a bad tattoo. Like if I saw this on the street, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's horrible. Like, why would he ever get that? I'm just, I have to okay. give a low rating. I feel like we all have to. You know what, Reagan? Do you know what I mean? You know what, Reagan? Bless your heart. Yeah. Bless your heart <laughs> for making this person not feel as bad because they didn't get a, as high of a rating. Buddy has already booked the tattoo removal appointment. Reagan's right, though. It's, it's, not like it's, it's, not, it's not like it's a bad tattoo. It's just not really like threading the needle as much as the other ones yeah like you you obviously can look at it and be like it's patrice bergeron we all knew looking at it but again like without certain things you wouldn't know but at least looking at this tattoo you know what it is so like i don't know i agree with a lot of things you guys are saying like i think a lot of it is like i don't know what's going on with that one glove it looks kind of like a lobster claw to me but like maybe the face doesn't exactly but like i don't know you can tell it's patrice bergeron i would never get it i don't hate it I think it's just like a seven. I didn't even say who it's from. Steven Turchetta, at Steven underscore Turchetta on Instagram. I'm sorry. Steven, you should have gone Marchand or something, buddy. <laughs> oh, this one's insane. All right, we have an LA Kings full sleeve from at Diabetic Since 02 on Instagram, and it is unreal. I think in the message, he said that it took three and a half days to complete. I'm obsessed with this. I was waiting for this one the entire time. I'm giving it a solid 10. All right. I'm going to say it. You say it. You He's going to do Debbie. it. You do it. <laughs> I think for three and a half days work, like you could have gotten like a cooler tattoo. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, it's, I think the, I think the old school Kings logo looks wicked. I think the crown looks really good too. I think the actual logo with the King in it, that looks like a crest with the crown above it is not that nice. Yeah, it's cool. But God, to be honest. It's definitely, like, not nicer than some of the other ones we've seen. I think the Eiserman one is cooler than this. A seven and a half? Eight? Yeah, like, seven really? and a half. I don't think it's, like, anything that special. I pretty much agree with everything Jesse said. Like, I think the best part of this tattoo is the actual Stanley Cup. I think that's really well done. But, like, I don't know. I think the buildings, like Jesse said, are, are nothing really special. They look really faded. I, I don't, like love just the collage of logos but it yeah like i don't know i'd give it yeah a seven again wow guys that's harsh wear it jordan loves this one Shout do out. i okay well um <laughs> <laughs> when i think of la i don't think of the buildings so i don't know i'm not really huge on the also downtown la is just kind of scary so i would not have like i wouldn't have added the buildings myself personally um the stanley cup is kind of cool well not kind of cool it's the best part of the whole tattoo the shading the lighting good um 7.5 it's too many logos it's a lot of logos the yeah, stanley cup is sick it. the logos are all well done at least maybe they're just born and raised la based on all these tattoos by the looks of it but at least everything's really well done. I get loving your team that much, but just way too many logos. So I'm just gonna give this seven. California, <laughs> here we come. Okay, last but not least, we have a intense Boston Bruins puck. And I don't know, I just picked up the one because it was different than the others. And it looks like there's a puck going through his leg. 
I'm going to give it an eight. It looks like there's a puck going through his leg. You don't say. <laughs> I, I, I think that's so cool. That's why. Like the detail. Nothing gets by you, Reagan. Yeah. Stop, yeah, it. Stop it. Yeah. Compare, okay, compared to the. We needed a variety. We saw logos. We saw players. We saw, I guess, uh, Los Angeles buildings, whatever. This is not something we've seen before. I had to add it in. The question is Is the puck going into the leg or is it coming out of the leg? Is the real question. Hear me out. One, is it freshly done? Because it's very red. It looks very. Yeah, or is that? I mean, it's supposed to be like a bruise, yeah, like your your blood. Because like, like, yeah, there's literally blood coming from the bottom. I don't know if that's part of the tattoo or if this guy's oozing out. I think this is a pretty cool one, personally. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten. I, I like the creativity. It's it's simple. It just shows this person loves, you know, kind of in a way like they bleed, they bleed Bruins hockey. It's a nice, it's a cool concept. Eight out of ten. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. Yeah, I think it's a 7.5 out of 10. I do 7.5 for me, too. The only reason why I'm just like, uh, is because it kind of gives you the vibes of those things you buy for, like, your cars that look like a puck hit your window or whatever, and it's, like, the, the decoration thing. I'll go 7.5 right. on this. Okay, we're going to add them up and see who the winner is. Okay, the ballots are in. We counted up the scores, and we have your top three winners. So at number three... We have my favorite, the LA Kings tattoo. At number two. Really? <laughs> I wasn't expecting yeah, that. Was three. Yeah, I didn't think that would crack the top three. I guess you did give it a 10. That's an exactly. underdog story. Yeah, okay. So number two, we have Phil Kessel. Phil the Thrill with the hot dog at 41.5. And then number one, best tattoo of part one is Steve Eiserman with 43.5. Which Absolute we can all redemption. agree, that's probably the winner, I would say. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it quite literally it. is the winner. That's it for part one of us rating our best NHL tattoos. Let us know in the comments what your favorite one is and which ones shouldn't have been rated so high or which one was rated so low, too low. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, Jesse will get Patrick Line tattooed on his entire back, just his head. <laughs> How many likes would it take for you to actually get that tattooed on your ass? Like literally a million. <laughs> if, it got, if this video got 50,000 likes, I would consider it.